Okay, what are your thoughts on what, the, what came out today? Incredible. Yeah, I, I think for, first and foremost, I, I obviously can tell uh, why the moniker of the Republican Party is the, geo, the, the, the elephant. Uh, because, boy, I dislike a circus today. I mean, I, and I say that in all due respect to my colleagues on the other side of the aisle, but I, I don't think they saw the map, many of them, any sooner than we did. And when, when the uh, majority party gets the map the same time the minority party does, and then they tell us that we're going to vote on it tomorrow, and uh, the congressmen who are, are getting zapped uh, by this piece of legislation don't have an opportunity to travel to Columbus overnight to come and testify and tell the people of this committee why they don't think this is a good idea for their districts. Uh, uh, communities of interest, I mean, Mark, my gosh, I, you can go from uh, Toledo to, to Western Cleveland now in Marcy Captor. Uh, if, if there's a common community of interest there, I am amazed and puzzled by it. Uh, I look at Mahoning County, uh, once again split as it was 10 years ago. Uh, I think that's very unfortunate for Mahoning County. Uh, and, and, you know, uh, you got, you've got uh, Congressman, Congressman Johnson's, uh, Bill Johnson's district that still runs probably 431 miles. I mean, uh, or well over 300, let's put it that way. It goes from Mahoning County to Scioto County. Uh, some of them, some of the districts with that map, they look like, uh, uh, one looks like uh, a snake going around some cities. One snakes into another city. Uh, you have uh, some counties split four ways. So uh, it's unfortunate uh, that this is the process that's been selected, but it is the process. And uh, tomorrow we will vote and uh, it'll be on the floor on Thursday. And I would assume that you'll see this bill fly through the Senate next week. How many of these have you been through now? Is this well, your third? This is, I mean, I, I came in right after uh, the districts were drawn in 1982. So I just missed the drawing for the 82 boundaries because I came here in February of 82. They would have been completed sometime in late 81. I was on the state government committee in 1991. They were drawn in 91. And then I left in 2001. And that's uh, when they would have been drawn uh, for this decade. And, or for the previous decade, and now new ones here I am, I'm back again. So really, I mean, I'm looking at, uh, I think, the fifth legislative district uh, overall, but uh, for drawing purposes, the second time that I've sat with the committee. How does this compare? I mean, 91 Republicans, Republicans were in control, is that right? Uh, 91 Democrats were in control. How did they handle it? We handled it a little differently in, in, in that at least people saw a map. Uh, as I said, Congressman, uh, Congressman Brown from southeastern Ohio, testified before the committee. Uh, he came in and, and gave the committee his feeling as to why the district uh, as being proposed that he would be in was not right for his people. And uh, lo and behold, he was put into another district with another Republican, was defeated by 266 votes in the, in the Republican primary. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. I think it's a sad day for Ohioans, quite frankly, because I think this should be a, a very, very open process. I think when you have politicians drawing boundaries, that's dangerous. Uh, I think a more bipartisan, uh, uh, maybe independent type of drawing of lines is appropriate. We tried to get that accomplished with Secretary Houston last year, and Secretary Houston was unable to get uh, enough Republicans to support it in the Senate, or we would have had a more, uh, uh, a much better way of doing this in 2011. But the system is what it is, and uh, as I said, tomorrow we'll vote out of committee, Thursday will go to the floor, and I wouldn't be surprised if by next week we have this map in, uh, in hand in order that people will, will be deciding uh, what districts they're going to run. This emergency clause issue on primaries, does that give you any leverage to do anything about any of this? I'm not real sure what that does other than change some dates of when filing filing. I really think that that's what that does. But I think it's a statement on the part of our leadership saying that, you know, we had an agreement that we would support these changes in order that, uh, but we do want a more open and transparent uh, uh, process for redistricting. Now, you know, we saw we saw how open it is and how quickly it is. We saw four or five witnesses today. We saw the maps at 2.15 and it's five o'clock in less than three hours. You know what? We're out of here till tomorrow. So that's uh, that's the open process that we have. Uh, it's not open. These maps were drawn behind closed doors. No one saw them. Not a lot of the Republicans saw them, and none of the Democrats saw them. Thanks.